The sneak bobblehead in Fallout 4 will make it harder for enemies to spot you when you are sneaking and in this video I will show you how to get your hands on it. Hi, I'm Mo and I'm trapped in Fallout. You will need to make your way to the Dunwich Boars. It is located on the northeast section of the map, so basically the top right hand corner of the map. It is directly west of the Museum of Witchcraft and directly east of the Slog. Once you make it, you will need to note that this area is heavily populated with raiders and these aren't your low level raiders, these are your high level raiders, including a raider that will have power armor. So once you actually fast travel to this area, what you want to do is go down this set of stairs and as you continue to go down this set of stairs, eventually we will enter a mining area that is located at the very bottom of this set of stairs. So as you sort of get to the very bottom, from here, if you just turn around and then go down this sort of hallway-ish area and then go all the way down, you will enter what is looks like to be a sort of underground mining areas or rather the Dunwich Boars. Once inside, what you want to do is just sort of follow this path. Now, fortunately, for the most part, this is all a very linear path up until we get to a certain point. But I'll let you know once we get there. Now, what you want to do is avoid this trap over here. Just hug this wall on the right and you should be able to do that. Now, as I sort of make my way, something to note, this whole area is heavily populated with even more raiders and turrets also. And once you get further down, it will also be populated with ghouls. Now, the first fork you will encounter is actually this fork over here. Do not go up these stairs, instead carry on down this way. And again, like I said, for the most part, it's very linear. You will then see another set of stairs. Again, avoid these stairs and just keep on going straight. On this right, you will see what looks to be a digger of sorts. Again, just go around it. And again, just keep on going straight until the very end where we will sort of see this uh, path that goes all the way down. Now, what you can do is you can just sort of use the circuit breaker to turn on the lights, making it a little bit easier. But if you have anything that allows you to sort of not take any fall damage or maybe any power armor, you can just simply jump straight down. So what I'm going to do is going to assume that you don't have any of the stuff and I'm just going to walk my way down this way. Now, once you get down here, what you want to do is follow this path and then go through this way and you approach this red door over here. Go ahead and open it. And as you do that, if you look to your right, you will now start to see some ghouls. Again, like I said, I've taken care of every enemy in here. Now, keep on going forward and eventually you will get to this uh, mechanical contraption that is used for some construction purposes. And when you look to your right, you will see a door. The moment you open this door, you will see a vision. So go ahead and open this door. And then you will see a vision. As you approach, you will see a couple of miners working quite hard. Once you exit the vision, if you look to your left, there will be a path going up that way. Don't go up this way. Instead, go straight ahead. So you should be heading west. And from here, look to your right. And again, continue down this way. You will see a circuit breaker sort of sparking. Go ahead and activate this. And this will sort of light up this whole area. Again, as a result of turning on this circuit breaker, will cause a number of ghouls to sort of come out of hiding. Now from here, if you sort of hug the wall on the right, and look straight at this terminal with the number four above it. If you look just below it, you should see the sneak bobblehead. Getting the sneak bobblehead will make it 10% harder to find you. This means that when you're in sneak mode, you will effectively be a little bit more difficult for enemies to spot you. If you prefer to instead last longer with say something like fusion cores, then click on the video you see on the screen now to check out my guide on how to get the repair bobblehead.